Hi, Ben here with Amtex Equipment with one of, our, one of our most beautiful custom design of the product which is done for one of our repeat customers, Bright Future Incorporated Company in Osaka, Japan. Uh, Bright Future Company has been with us for the past two years and we've been providing them different type of style and different type of design of a product for them to be able to provide their customer with the finest machinery as possible in the market. All of the units that we uh, build that need to be LP powered. That's why the engine in the front, which is a 25 horsepower Kohler engine, it is powered by LP. Now, one of the most unique thing about this machine, it is, it's a very compact design. They wanted this machine to be built only 35 inches wide for them to be able to enter narrow doorways of building because after all, they're gonna be doing all type of indoor cleaning, carpet, tile and grout furniture, and what have you. But by studying the whole design of this machine, we end up even building it less than 35 inch. So from the right side of the machine to the left side is less than 29 inches. Now another unique design of this machine, it has a solid platform type of design wheels, which the all caster be able to do 360 degree pivot type of position. So you'll be able to really have the machine go around in 360 degrees without need of a big space or getting a stock any kind of, you know, limited type of corners in a building or what have you. The unit could be pushed or could be pulled very easy because its wheel systems are designed to carry more than the weight of the uh, uh, unit. That's why it makes it extremely simple for the unit to be pulled or pushed. Now each wheel individually has a brake system on it. You'll be able to simply lock them or unlock them. They all have one lock on each corner. This in case this machine needs to be operated in a type of slope or a, type, a steep type of uh, surface. There's no problem. Now just like the other unit that we do for uh, Bright Future Company, all the units need to be done in LP engines. That's why you're able to see the 25 horsepower color engine in the front powered by the LP which is extremely simple to, to connect any kind of propane uh, type of tank that's designed for United States or Japan. By simply connecting it to the tank, you should be able to have the flow of um, uh, LP gas, of course, after, in, after turning the, uh, the valve on into the engine to allow the engine to start. Now, giving you a quick tour, which is, of course, going to be useful for our customers since it's the first time they're getting this system. Uh, as the prior video, as the liquid LP flows through the fuel solenoid here, which gets activated by the front switch, you'll be able to hear it as I'm turning the ignition key off and on. The liquid propane flows into the evaporator type of coil, which is right next to the exhaust, capturing the heat from the exhaust of the engine. Of course, after the vapors have been created, it, it, did, it does get sent through a regulator type of uh, fuel, uh, uh, LP regulator, which this one dictates how much of the, um, how much of the, uh, the LP needed for the engine to run, uh, run at the different speed. Of course, faster you run it, this uh, um, regulator here supplies more LP, and of course, slower you run the engine, it supplies the engine with less uh, amount of uh, LP. As far as the, the machine itself, like I said, you do have a, 24, a 25 horsepower Kohler LP engine. To fill the oil, it's very simple and accessible. We have designed it for the customer to be able to simply fill the oil here. They can check the oil right here by simply pulling the dipstick out and checking for the oil level and putting it back. Your pump system is extremely accessible for services. You do have your drainage at the bottom, which you can position it to any type of point you want for you to be able to do the drainage. Now, at the same time, you'll be able to use the cap on the top. It has two functions to uh, fill the, uh, the pump with 12 ounces of a straight 30 motor oil or simply by unscrewing it, you should be able to see this will come out in a formation of a dipstick. You'll be able to see and check your oil level. Now, the, the blow is uh, because of the compactness of this machine, has to be kind of hidden and act as a subtype of frame to carry the heat exchangers on top to create that narrow type of profile. That's why we came up with this, with this uh, extended type of oil inlet. Now our customer be, will be able to simply unscrew the cap here, fill the um, blower with a 12 ounce of gear oil, and of course, as far as draining the old oil, is right, it's very accessible right at the bottom. We have provided our customer with a very simple drainage 
to drain the um, to drain the uh, oil of the blower. Same thing for the engine. If we come to the right, you'll be able to see all drainage of the uh, all drainage hose of the engine extremely accessible, long enough for it to be able to place inside a container so that way you prevent any kind of spilling. Now, one of the most unique thing about this machine was, as per their request, they wanted this system to be direct drive. That was one of the reasons this machine came out to be so narrow. That's why we also equipped this unit with a slide plate, which we have brought this design to you a few months ago uh, for the first time with our Infernos and of course stack design. To change the coupling, which is your love joy, which powers the, um, the blower off the engine, um, it is a love joy in the center, which is a size number nine, designed to handle 40 horses of, uh, uh, 40 horses of uh, the uh, power transmit. That's why you do have a tough connection between the engine and blower. However, if whatever reason the connection breaks, to change it, extreme, it is extremely simple. Uh, step one will be to disconnect your right heat exchanger from the engine by loosening this union. And of course you do have another union on the left side of the engine which you can uh, loosen and disconnect. Now by loosening the four uh, 716 bolts on each side, you do have two on each uh, side, one on each corner. And if we go to the left side of the engine, you should be able to see the other two using an 1116 wrench. Just like the Inferno Drake Drive system, by shifting the engine, after you loosen and disengage it from the heater, loosen it from the, uh, the, the plate, you should be able to shift the engine completely ca forward, carrying the pump system with it. That way you'll be able to get in there and replace your coupling system within minutes. Now, another thing that we had to, we were forced to design it in such a way, it is the position of uh, our control system, like your pressure gauge, your temperature gauge, tachometers, and what have you. Because of the shortage of space, we have to first build the machine, then go ahead and add uh, stuff like pressure gauge, which is the old design of the classic that we use right next to the pressure regulator, which of course, as you turn the regulator clockwise while the machine is running, you should be able to see the increase in the pressure, and of course, turning it counterclockwise, you'll be able to see the decrease of the pressure. Now, your temperature gauge position is very accessible right there for you to see which shows 130 to 250 degree Fahrenheit, and right below it is your tachometer and um, uh, hour meter. To remove the filter is extremely simple because, and very accessible, because this filter gets clean almost every job. The all done is fully stainless steel materials, and this uh, piping is designed to be in two different sections to allow it to be flexible for you to be able to pull it back, remove the filter, clean it, and put it back in a start new job. Now, as far as any other feature of this machine, in the front, the, uh, the, as far as the paneling and controls and outputs are all same, just like the older design of the Prowler that we have sent to Japan, your ignition is the original position from the Kohler factory. Your upper two handles, the one on the top shows the choke, which of course to the left is closed and to the right is open, and this is your throttle handle. Because this is an LP engine, they're hardly needed for you to choke it. However, in some cold climate and cold weather, by using the choke, you're allowing the system to pull an extra LP into the engine to fire up quicker. On the lower panel, you see the original pump out system at two inch, which is equipped with a union. You'll be able to replace and remove it real fast. Right at the very bottom, that's where you give the machine water from the garden hose or the fresh water tank. And of course, right above it is your um, uh, pressure output and cool off valve. Now to the far right, it is your vacuum inlet. The reason we had to brought it to the front for safety because back here, the areas, you do have a lot of temperature uh, exposure. We don't want our customer to deal with any kind of liability. That's why your vacuum port is uh, extended to the front. And all your um, heat control systems are on the bottom left, a very nice secure area. So that way, accidentally cannot get hit by any kind of corners or wall while you're transporting this system. Now, you exhaust of your engine, the all done in fully stainless steel, which exit here, it can be routed to different type of um, location, but as a uh, normal type of setup, we do leave it like this for our customer to do any kind of modification later. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut the, um, 
video short, and we're gonna uh, go ahead and save our time because we want to be able to do another video of this machine operating um, uh, outside. That way, you'll be able to see the power of this machine as far as its uh, heat productions and suctions and what have you, how to run the machine and how to shut it down. I want to thank you for your time, and I do look forward to see you in the next video. Thank you.